itself is neat. <coughs> but, um, so, okay, so where are you from? Well, I grew up in Davies County, Kentucky, which is the nearest city is Owensboro on the Ohio River. And then we lived about 30 miles out of town in a little town called Whitesville. We lived about 30 miles out of Owensboro. So, and when I grew up in Whitesville, Kentucky, it was from 1950, say 1954 to 1957. I was in the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th grades. And we weren't, our family wasn't farmers. My dad was an executive at the steel mill in Owensboro. And, but we lived in this little farming community and all of the kids that I went to school with lived on the farms and Because I didn't have to work on the farm. It was fun for me I suppose it was less fun for the kids that, that actually had to get up at four o'clock in the morning and go milk the cows and stuff but I would I would I look forward to going out on the weekends and and, and Spending the night with one of my friends and, and getting up and doing the farm chores and stuff and when when you when you showed me the sorghum here, it was a, uh, it, it triggered a memory that we used to, at, at a certain time of the year, and I don't remember what time of the year that was, but when it harvested it, the farmers would cut it and they would bring it to a, a place where they had an, an old mule and a, a wheel that went around in a circle. The mule walked around and the wheel rolled and they would feed the sorghum under the wheel and squish it and then the juice would run out and they had big vats uh, that they boiled it in and made sorghum molasses. And I don't know what they did with the seeds and stuff. I only remember the, the cane part, but that was a, a, a special treat for us kids because we got to eat the, the foam off of the, 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 the uh, thing there. Then that, then talking about the sorghum, we got, uh, it reminded me of harvesting the tobacco, which was also grew on stakes or stalks like that and we used to have a, uh, a stake and I'm guessing because I was a little kid at the time and it was taller than me so let's say the stakes were about six foot they were made out of hardwood they were about one inch by half inch by one inch rectangular stakes and they had a steel cone yeah, I, spike I think I'm out of, I'm out of memory okay